Hi everybody, my name is Nicole and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about how to live a really good, abundant, satisfying, healthy life. I know, that's a lot on a plate. <sighs> but honestly, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Now the few keys that I have learned over this past year that I have been really diving deep into life um, is what what really satisfies you as a person um, what brings you satisfaction soul satisfaction are you are you working the job that you really want to work is it bringing you peace and happiness and is it really satisfying like when you get done to the day you're just like I made a difference and I feel great or do you wake up in the mornings and you're like, oh, you gotta go to work. Do I have any sick leave? Hello? <laughs> you know, or your family, friends, and everybody that you are in contact with on a daily basis. Are they nourishing for your soul? And do they make you feel good when you are around them? Or are they more toxic? And, you know, a lot of drama and a lot of things that they draw you into and that kind of stuff. Um, and where you live. You know, even where you live, is that satisfying? Are you getting satisfaction out of that? And just really going deep within yourself um, and really finding out who you are authentically and taking off all of your masks that you put on for everybody on a daily basis. Um, going deep and, and, and finding your inner child and, and nurturing, being like a mother to your inner child is very, very important, you know? Um, when you see a child and they fall down and they make a mistake, are you over there just beating their butt because they fell down and they're crying? No, you don't. You bring them aside and you nurture them and you make them feel better, you know, and tell them, you know what, it's okay. You know, we all make mistakes and we all do this and we all fall down and we all get back up. That's what you need to start doing to yourself and quit being so critical and harsh on yourself. Uh, is is finding your inner child and taking their inner child here and, and nurturing yourself you know whether that that is you know taking weekly spiritual baths you know with some Epsom salt sea salt and um, I do a little bit of florid water and some essential oils you know once a week it really cleanses your body cleanses your auric field <clears throat> spiritually too very very good for you um, you know, even just saging your house and getting rid of all that negativity and that toxic energy in your house. I do that once a week, you know? Um, and just just thinking about your job, you know, and your work and your friends and everything. What really satisfies you? Is it, do you wake up in the morning just energized and just feel great and you just know that this is gonna be a great day? Or do you wake up and you're like, Ugh. I don't want to get up. I want to go back to bed and pull the covers up over your head. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to get up. No, turn the phone off. Don't call me. <laughs> I mean, we've all done that. We've all done it. Don't, don't think that you haven't because I know, I know you have. <clears throat> but, you know, I'm not going to make this a very long video, but there's just a few things that you can really do, you know, and and pampering yourself, you know, and learning what feels good and what doesn't feel good and setting healthy boundaries. So important. So important. Not saying yes, not being a yes person all the time, you know, because when you say yes all the time to everything, it just eats at your soul, especially if you don't want to do something, you know, or you feel you don't feel good about doing it like it's against against what you think is right, you know, and you do it anyway because your friends are ganging up on you or making you feel bad, or even your family for that instance, you know. Um, just taking the time out and, and understanding, you know, people and when they, when they lash out at you or, or say derogatory things to you or, or tell you you can't or put you down, st being able to step back and really look deep within that and knowing what they're saying to you really isn't anything to do with you. It's their own fears and their own securities that they are projecting onto you. You know, and, and understand and taking that mentality and understanding it to the core really will set you free in so many ways. So many ways. Because then you're not taking really anything personal. 
because I was the queen of like taking shit personal. You know, if even if somebody even looked at me cross-eyed, I'd been like, oh God, what did I do? You know, what's wrong with them? Because I'm super empathic, so I feel everybody's vibes all the time. And of course, I was always thinking it was me causing people, but it, it wasn't. It, I was just absorbing and being a mirror to them and, and putting up a mirror in front of them and showing their fears and their weaknesses because I was a really strong, high vibe person. I would, I would make people project their fears. And of course those fears would, would come out at me and lash out at me and then it would just make me feel worse. And I, would, I didn't know how to protect myself at the time so I would just take it, take it all in and shove it all down until I was just a toxic cesspool of just bleh, you know? Um, and learning how to protect yourself is so important. You know, and even if it's just calling in Archangel Michael to say, you know, please protect me today um, and putting that intention when you first wake up in the morning, very important. You know, meditating and taking time. And if, and if you can't shut your mind off, just plug in some, um, some nice relaxing sound music, frequencies, binary beats or anything like that. Um, when you're trying to meditate, <clears throat> will help your mind focus on those and really start programming yourself to be able to stop your mind. And, and a lot of times, well, not a lot of times, all the time, that when you start meditating, um, a lot of those answers that you're trying to find will just instantly pop in your head because you hold the answers to everything inside of you. It's just quieting yourself and, and quieting your mind long enough to be able to have and allow those answers to come up and and be perceived and have that little poop there it is you know and when you get answers like that a lot of times you know you think well they're just my thoughts well it's it's kind of hard to, to to tell the difference sometimes because those thoughts are of course in your voice so you're like well those are just my thoughts i'm answering my own questions but when you start distinguishing a little bit you know, when you start putting that intention where I have this question, this is what I want to answer, and you really go within and you quiet your mind, and then all of a sudden an answer pops up in your head and you're like, oh, there it is. That is your higher self, your guides, angels, whatever you want to call it, helping you with the answers that you're looking for. And those are found in quiet meditation. And being able to trust your intuitive nudges and your your gut feelings and that kind of stuff and going within um, and just taking some time for yourself and doing things for yourself and finding a career or a hobby that you really enjoy because even if it even if you're in a, in a career or a job that you really don't enjoy but you start taking up a hobby that you really do enjoy that just really brings that passion out in you that you're just like wow I just love doing this it may be something that you can't really make any money at right now but you keep doing in that, which raises your vibration up, and then pretty soon things will start coming to you that will help you find the joy in something that you really want to do. So say that passion that you're really passionate about, all of a sudden you start getting um, people, places, and things that start coming to you that will make it more of like a business. You'd be really, really surprised that when you start getting passionate about something and, and you really start raising your vibration and you start really just feeling good about something, it's amazing how the universe will just start setting things in motion. And then pretty soon, six months or a year down the road, you are living your dream. You are, you are in your dream job. You're doing exactly what you wanted to do and you're like, how did this even happen? I was just, you know, I just wanted to to make YouTube videos for fun or, you know, do a little painting or, you know, decorating rocks or, or something, whatever you enjoy doing. I just wanted to do that for fun, but I had so much fun at it. I started doing it some more and then some of my friends started wanting some of it. And, and then one thing leads to another and boom, there you are. But it's just finding what you're passionate about. And it's hard to really, to find something that you really, really enjoy. But the more you really enjoy something, and the more passionate you are about something, the more things are gonna start happening, um, the more awesome things are gonna start flowing into your life, the more people that are gonna be more inspiring to you are just gonna just start flowing to you like water. Um, it's, it's really an amazing thing to be able to set an intention, a manifestation out there, and have that, that feel-good feeling when you set that intention. 
and then you just forget about it and walk away and just start watching things start coming into motion and start coming into your atmosphere and you're like wow this is amazing this is really truly amazing i actually did this you are the creator of your own reality whether you like it or not think about that you are the creator so if you're living a crappy life you know with shitty friends and a shitty job it's probably because you've well, it's not probably, it is because you've created that, because you have a lack mentality, lack mindset, or you have no self-love for yourself. And then pretty soon, all the people, places, and things start coming to you, they're going to make you not have self-love, that are going to tear you down and, and make you feel like poop, and work you to the bone with that job that you hate because of what you're projecting out. You're like a radio wave. What, your thoughts are waves. Your thoughts are energy. So when you have that intention, that thought, and, and it doesn't matter if it's a good or bad thought, it's boom, it's out there. And then all of a sudden, things just start coming to you that are magnetized for whatever thought you have. So it's super, super important to keep your thoughts in your head on a positive on a positive note and a positive level of what you want in your life not what you don't want because when you're always thinking about your next paycheck your next food your next boyfriend your next whatever because you don't have it that is setting the lack mentality in your mind and in your vibration so you're like I need this and I need that I need that and I need that that is setting that lack mentality in your mind so the universe is going to give you things they're going to create more lack in your in your life and so you've heard the term fake it until you make it fake that positive fake it turn on some music and just really start exuding what you really want because when you start doing that and you start feeling it it will come to you it's the law of the universe the law of attraction it's it, there's no ifs ands or buts but if you think a good thought and then 30 seconds later, you're thinking, oh, that can't happen, you know, or you think a bad thought over that good thought, well, what's the last thing you just thought? Your bad thought, and that's what you're gonna get. So really, really, really important to think positive thoughts all the time. Really, really watch what you're telling yourself. Your dialogue in your head is extremely important. So the better that you treat you and the better you are to yourself and the more you love yourself, the more people, places, and things are gonna be flowing into your life that are gonna create love and abundance in your life. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I love making these videos. All right, ciao for now. Peace.